why are there no real production done alternative to Flipper Zero already there on the market? So let's just talk about this topic for now. So let's first talk about what can a Flipper Zero do that, you know, challenge the market to create another device. So we, we, we've seen Flipper Zeros, you know, uh, this is just a Wikipedia page for it, just to talk about it. Release date in 2020, so it's around four years time since the release date. Um, it got a very bad display, uh, something with micro SD card and that's nothing new. NFC reading, you know, um, it got the uh, RFID, the sub gigahertz radio, infrared port, GPIO pin connectors, Bluetooth stuff, uh, that's about what it does, right? There are many different kind of, you know, firmwares and the um, community is really good to create different kind of firmware for it and also to create videos, aka I do it myself. Um, I also think the Flipper Zero is really nice. It's a fun gadget. As I talked about before, it is no real hacking device. And I'm not really sure why anyone would say a Flipper Zero is a real hacking device. It is a fun thing that can do a few things here and there, but real hacking, no. Okay, so why is there no other, you know, so there is actually one contender, but it's not even there yet, right? It says Monster Tech M1, you know, and, and I talked about this many times. I'm a backer of it on Kickstarter, and it's been delayed oh, two, three times already. I create many videos for the Monster Tech M1 multi-tool, which is a direct upgrade to Flipper Zero. If that, if that ever comes out, it's going to be a direct update. Every single thing of it will be an upgrade to Flipper Zero. So, mm, why why haven't China, for example, which is, you know, pretty standard for China, no offense to China, I love China. Okay, so why why haven't they just copied it? They can do that pretty easy. Seriously, this is not a big deal, you know. Flipper Zero is not like, ooh, okay. They would just be 100 square, but you know, it could take one person with the right contact and a few good programmers and so on to create this device and you can have another copy going in, in, in a month or so, right? So why why haven't they done it? And people still, you know, think, mm, and they, 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 they wonder about it and this is a great device. Why would no one copy and paste it? Okay, so I think the truth is there in the sentence. It is not a great device to that extent that people think it is great. You know, I have it right here. I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, yeah, we all know I have Flipper Zero. I actually love it. It's it's quite fun. You know, it is like I was just, it's more like, almost like having your first smartphone again. You can do stuff, but only to a certain degree. Nothing that actually breaks stuff, right? You turn off a TV and ha ha, and it's very fun. You can. You can record a key fob, you know, you've seen this before. It's old technology, so it's nothing new, but you have it in your hand now. It's the one device, okay, one device, and you can buy the extension for the GPIO, GPIO pins <laughs> and, and put them in and say, ah, oh, I can get Wi-Fi Marauder. That's a great piece of software. Well, I, I okay, it's okay, but the Marauder software is not something that does anything new. Okay, it's been here for a long time. It doesn't enable people to be great Wi-Fi hackers if they have no idea what they're dealing with. You know, Flipper Zero cannot even crack the hashes. It's too slow. The compute power is horrible. You know, it's not even going to do the deal, you know. Look at the amount of RAM there is, like kilobyte of RAM. It's not going to do anything. Even the processes in, 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 in the Flipper Zero is, is horrible bad. But yeah, it's just like the 64 megahertz Cortex M4 that runs main firmware and the second core is a 32 megahertz, not even gigahertz, Cortex M1. I understand this is great, but it's, 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 it's just, I cannot, I cannot be even more clear about this. I love the Flipper Zero, 
but it is just not a thing worth copying, you know, um, to the extent that people feel it should be copied. I, I read so many comments from you guys. I appreciate your comments on my videos, but I just don't believe that the Flipper Zero device is a device that needs to be copied. Of course, if the Monster Trick M1 unit is going to be out, it will be the rate upgrade to it. Sure. And it's not <laughs> it's not difficult to create an upgrade to Flipper Zero. Because Flipper Zero is just, you know, a collection of some, some hardware that is somewhat old in many ways. It's not fast. It is, you can... You, you you can basically take a Raspberry Pi, you know, and buy a small screen um, with some buttons on and create an interface with a small bash grip. And then you can, you know, cycle through some things and get like a, a quad core with eight gigabytes of RAM running, you know, four processors of one gigahertz plus per processor, you know, four cores and eight gigabytes of RAM. You can get... 500 gigabytes of memory, you can get all these kind of things, it's just a small Raspberry Pi. I get it, it's bigger, but not in insanely much, it's maybe double the size, but that's about it, right? But no one wants that. People want a small device. This is why the Flipper Zero got so much, you know, uh, surface, because well, it, you got some buttons you can click on, right? And you can, it's, it's easy, you can have, an, it's a handheld device. And this is why it gained so much popularity, you know? Even, even remember the days whenever, the first small um, handheld uh, gaming device came out. I don't know exactly what you call it, but the small Donkey Kong, you know, flip, beep, beep, whatever they call it, <laughs> handheld device with a small screen, you know, it was, it was horrible back then, the graphic, but it's the same on the Flipper Zero, same graphic, you know, so nothing new. It's like the 80s or something, <laughs> display. Well, let's just be real about that. And, and uh, I, I, I really think that, you know, so I, it's difficult for me to say more. You know, I feel that I covered the reasons now. I want to talk about the future, you know, because I do see people want to try and copy the Flipper Zero because it's been popular already and people want to say the next generation of it. I feel that, you know, the Monster Zig M1 will be the next generation if it comes out, but it's still not, you know, closing the gap, you know, because even so you gain some more processing power and a better antenna and even building Wi-Fi in the Monster Tech M1 compared to the Flipper Zero, it will still be somewhat the same story, you know. You would need to upgrade the actual processing power and the memory significantly more to be a good device because if you offline can crack uh, passwords with a really good speed, let's, if, you, if you can get like four processors down of one to two gigahertz and and let's see, four gigabytes of memory and and, and hundreds of gigabytes of, of, of storage speed, well, storage space, sorry, then I would definitely say it's a good device that is going to break the market. But right now, it's, it's like an extra in-between device. You need to still copy your stuff over to a real computer to do anything good with it. And still, what good can you do? And this is why the Flipper Zero is a gadget. There are so many gadgets on the market. You can buy all of them. I love the gadgets. I'm all into it. It's fun. It's cracky. It's hackerish. And you can sit in your dark, you know, room and say, her, her, her. <laughs> but it's, it's just not, um, it's just not, it's just, it's just not the thing. <laughs> all right. It's just, yeah, okay, so it sounds like I'm against it. I'm not, but I'm just giving you the, the harsh reality of what I see the reasons for why there is no real copies already, even though it's four years it came out. And I think the truth is there. It's pretty easy to say. No one is going to copy something they feel is not necessary to copy. Get my drift? Why would you, right? So why would you? Thank you.